It's time for the Warrior of the Week. I'm Alan, and Austin Pataka joins me. GS9 out at the base. You're a what's what's the you, you work for the federal government, but you're not in the Air Force, correct? Correct. Yeah, more of the civil service side. Yeah, basically. hired hired hand. Yep. <laughs> I don't mean it that way at all. <laughs> you're a budget analyst and uh, working on the base. How long have you been out there? I've uh, been on base just about three years. Okay. Um, October will be my three-year mark out there. Awesome. And you traveled a long way to get here. I did. Yeah. Grew up in a little town called Enid, Oklahoma. Yeah, about two miles down from the <laughs> station, actually. <laughs> so you Chisholm graduate. Let's yes. back up a little bit. Okay. You're, you're from, from from that Pataka family right here locally. Yeah, there's yeah. a few of us around. And uh, tell me, uh, once you graduated Chisholm, where all did you go? Uh, well, initially I started college and... That was going. Mm-hmm. Um, decided to have a little bit of fun, and uh, mm-hmm. college just wasn't really uh, working out for me at the time. I, I, I did that. I understand. Yeah. yeah, you get all that freedom, and yep. it's just, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, ended up joining the uh, Army Reserves. Okay. Uh, my buddy, he was in the Army Reserve unit out of Stillwater. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that'll be fun, you know, hanging out on the weekends or whatever. Yeah. And so I went down to the recruiter station that day and signed up and came home and told my parents, I'm, hey, I'm leaving for the army in like two months so, so i got okay we're gonna where, where were you at it uh where were you out on campus where did you live uh i started out at noc here you went to noc okay NOC, and yeah. then uh was going back and forth up to stillwater okay uh see friends and stuff thinking mm-hmm. about you know starting there and that was my plan after joining the reserves was to come back and yeah. finish up at stillwater okay so so was the recruiter still in cowboy plaza at that time north of campus or had they moved no they there? were down on south oakwood okay Oh, you're talking about here in Enid. Here yeah, in Enid, I yep. got you. I yep. was thinking about the recruiter in Stillwater because our, our stories are similar to that point. Going college isn't working out. I may try the military. Anyway, you did the mil- you did the army thing, and you became an MP for a while, right? I did. Yeah, uh, joined the reserves, and actually, while I was at basic, I ended up enjoying it more than I thought I would, and mm-hmm. came back and decided I wanted to go active duty. So mm-hmm. I talked to my command and talked to recruiters here, and probably about. Six months after getting back out of basic and AIT, I was headed to Fort Lewis on active duty orders. Gotcha. And so you did your time in the Army and and uh, got out of the Army and started living the civilian life, became an accountant, I assume, uh, or, or, or something like that. Got into the, the, into finance, the numbers game, game the it. finance game. Yes. Okay. And uh, the next thing you know, you're back here in Enid, Oklahoma. And there's that's the short version, I think. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that is the short version. So tell me, what do you do at Vance Air Force Base? What's your job? So my job is I'm the resource advisor for the operations group. Excellent. And what does that entail? Basically, I handle all the funding requirements for the operations group to maintain and continue their mission. Okay. So they're saying, hey, can we afford to buy this thing this wrench to work on this plane kind of anything like yep. that uh so or, i mean basically we get a budget that was mm-hmm. you know the year before we planned for like i'm already working on the fy23 budget mm-hmm. and uh 19th they'll push down the money once it comes and i monitor five squadrons in the operations group mm-hmm. um, try to stick the plan between tdy's uniform issues parts breaking fuel rental cars anything you can think of uh I have to allocate for it. That just seems like uh, I st- my started feeling like I was sinking as you were talking about all that stuff. That's a lot of stuff there that you're responsible for. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when it comes to government money. You, mm-hmm. Okay. You got to account for every single penny of it. Now, Austin, you, uh, while you've been working, you're also married, got kids, living large here in Enid, Oklahoma, huh? Yes. Are you glad you came back? I am. Yeah. Enid, it's just a small community. I love mm-hmm. it. Um, very family oriented. Uh, community's great. Yeah. What I'm going to let you do a free plug for what your wife does. Okay. So yeah. back in 2020, right when COVID hit, mm-hmm. uh, we were sitting outside and she actually came to me and was like, Hey, my friend's selling her boutique. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to buy it. At the time I was like, okay, okay. COVID's hitting kind of yeah. kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. But, uh, we ended up going ahead and taking the plunge and, uh, she owns uh Okie Bay boutique downtown and it's, it's worked cool. out really well. We love it. Awesome. Now, is she from Enid, too? She is from Enid. She graduated okay. from Chisholm also. All right. Well, a couple of, couple of Chisholm kids living large in Enid. Yes. And people have done that before, time and time again. It's a good yeah. place to be, isn't it? It is. It's turned out very well for us. So is this Vance job going to be long-term, to like stay there till you retire type of thing, you think? 
I plan on it. Okay. I absolutely enjoy it. Uh, after getting out of the army unexpectedly, you know, mm-hmm. something I planned on doing for 20 years after getting yeah. hurt. You got injured. We forgot that part yeah, of the story. Yeah, ended up getting injured, got medically retired. Yeah. So, I mean, it worked out great for me. Mm-hmm. Um, only had to do half the time and yeah. able to keep my benefits. So, very awesome. lucky. Awesome. Well, Austin, thank you for uh, keeping the budget balanced, Advanced Air Force Base. One of those behind-the-scenes things that no one would ever think about. I mean, we see the planes fly overhead, and we talk about the pilots all the time. And and uh, so, uh, good for you for doing what you do. I appreciate it. Good to meet you, man. It nice We've probably you. met each other before in the past, as a chance we may have. Probably. So, it's a small yeah. town. 